What's going on guys? Show from Total Justice Gaming here. Thank you for watching. We work hard to bring you guys Buddy Fight five days a week, so please like these videos and subscribe. So what we're looking at here is my upgraded version of my Bone Master Death deck. I took this to Indie Regionals. I actually was very fortunate with this deck. Uh, I've used it a lot in the side events, so the Buddy Free Fight and this even did me an undefeated... Um, victory at one of their first eight man events so i really really enjoyed this deck um i already initially put another bone master video out bone deck out bone death deck out pardon me um and listen to you guys' comments uh they really really helped the deck uh and i made some more improvements of my own choice uh based on play testing with some of the other guys at the shop uh, and we came up with this build and i'm really really happy with it so, uh, we changed out the buddy, so now it's, uh, Lubel, uh, Gallows. I know it's, uh, Garos and the thing, but it's Gestus, it's Gallows. Uh, we did manage to pull Secret Flag, uh, out of the last set. Fuller is very annoyed by this because he was really hoping that we would get, uh, a Shido Flag and, uh, SP Flag, or the Secret Flag for Chaos, and we somehow managed to get two... Uh, Shido flags. So sorry for. All right, moving into the deck. So we are, of course, running for the buddy. So we are running through all the size ones, which there are quite a few of in this deck. So Gallows, uh, Bowmaster, Ga uh, Bowmaster Gallows is a zero zero defense two. Um, counter speed, uh, activate ability during your attack. If there are no cards in battle. Choose a monster on your opponent's field. Rest this card. If you do, stand the chosen monster and attack your opponent with that monster. So he grabs a hold of one of the opponent's monsters and just wails and doom with their own monster. That's actually really, really fun. Uh, then he's got another secondary counter speed ability of activate pay gauge. If you do, stand gallows. He only uses his ability once per turn. So you could potentially swing the opponent twice with their monster with this card. That's really fun, I found out at Regionals. So next up, we got four copies of Bone Labor. Oh, Al Darth. I apologize on the name, guys. Uh, so he's a 0 one two, uh, much like Gallows. Uh, counter speed ability during your attack phase if there are no cards in battle. Choose a monster in your opponent's field, rest this card, stand the chosen card, and attack your opponent with that monster. So he is just a single-use version of Gallows. Still very good. Uh, lets you hit really big damage on the opponent, I've found. Uh, making it, if there's Gallows and this dude, three attacks with the opponent monster, and people will just make the mistake of dropping a... Crit 3 monster on the field, then they gotta get smacked or waste cards out of their own hand just defending from their own monsters. It's pretty fun. Next up, we got uh, Bone Labor Shoddy Raw, or Shab Raw, Rai, Raj, Shab Raj. Yeah, this is gonna take me a bit with these name guys. I'm not that great with uh, certain countries' namings, naming schemes. If it's Asian, I'm pretty good, but these guys, not so much. Uh, so, she's a 0-1-3. She has Shadow Dives, so that means she can't attack on her own. Uh, she's also got a counter speed ability of if your opponent's monster, if a card in your opponent's field is attacking alone, choose a monster not in battle on the opponent's field. I can pay to gauge. If you do, change the attack uh, to the chosen card. So this pretty much plays the redirect game on the opponent's turn and makes them kill their own board with the monster. Very, very helpful. The better part about this card is that it's also not once per turn. So that's even better. So, so long as you got the gauge and they got the board, you can keep on going on. Next up, we are running three Gate Guider Gallows Gestus. Uh, Got to read him real quick. Pardon me, guys. Uh, he is a 313. You may only call this if there are three or more different death cards in your drop zone. Give all death monsters on your field 2,000 power and plus one critical. That's really, really handy, uh, especially because we're a field swarm deck. He also has Shadow Dive. 
It's also very important that he's also a size one monster. That means we can fill our uh, all of our rows or all of our uh, spots on the board with uh, size one death cards, and they get uh, additional crits and some power. So we get to have that nice little bonus. Uh, next up, I'm running two Black Superior Strength Gorodai. Uh, he's got a Shadow. He's got Shadow Dive. He cannot be called to center. Uh, and then there are four more cards in your opponent's drop zone, which is very easy to pull off. Uh, he becomes a 5K with a crit of three. Uh, combined with Gestus, he becomes a 7K with a crit of four with Shadow Dive. That is really, really scary. Uh, next up, we have Gate Guider de Lumiere. Uh, read him real quick. We're running two of them. Uh, he's a 1K, uh, Crit of 1, 1K. He's got Shadow Dive. And when he deals damage to your opponent, if you have six life or less, destroy a item or a spell on the opponent's field. Uh, this is good item destruction. That's a constant threat. It's really easy to get that damage in because he's got Shadow Dive. And spells and items just go away as soon as he hits. Next up, we're running Gate Guider Adino. Uh, the reason why I'm running him is he can only be called to center. He's Shadow Dive. He is a 1K with a crit of 2 with a defense of 4. So he's kind of got a butt to him uh, for a size 1. You know, I mean, a lot of size 1s in this meta can easily knock him out. But still, 4K is okay. Uh, with Gestus Gallows on board, he becomes a crit of three with Shadow Dive, and that's just really, really destructive. Following him out on size ones, our last size one was actually my former buddy, Gate Guider Detay. He is a size zero, crit of two, 1,000 monster. Pay a gauge when he enters the field, you may call a monster with Shadow Dive other than Gate Guider Detay from your drop zone by paying... It's call cost, and he's got Shadow Dive himself. So a lot of our monsters have Shadow Dive already, and a lot of them are costless. So I get to go get uh, monsters essentially for free just for calling this dude and paying a gauge. Uh, rounding out the monsters in the deck for sight, and he is our only size 3. It is Final Gate Guider uh, Guideca. We're running two of him, as you saw. Uh, he is a 4-3-3, three, three. Uh, so with Gallo Gestus, he becomes a 6-4-3. Uh, his call cost is pay two gauge. He has Shadow Dive, and more importantly, he has double attack. That's really important. So we get him, and we just swing to the face, hopefully for four crit, both attacks. Uh, next up, we are running three Death Pen Schreiber. Uh, it has no attack, but it does have two crit. A good cost is pay alive, activate, choose a death monster with zero power in your drop zone, and rest this card. If you do, call the chosen card by paying its call cost. Again, we have a lot of monsters now with zero attack. Uh, they are considered zero attack while they're in the drop zone. So even if I have Gallo Gestus on board, they do not get the power boost until they are on board. So I can rest this, call anything with zero power from the drop zone. I can even uh, get Detay, and then pay a gauge and go get another monster. This is a great uh, item specifically for this deck. We are also running one Death, uh, death Wave on Sturban. I'm running this in there because I can rest this and pitch a card. Meaning I can uh, help speed up getting Gallows, uh, Gestus Gallows into play quicker. And also move monsters to another side. Meaning I can make uh, Dragon Dragon Worlds decks that require an open center to be a closed center. And to Shadow Dive under them. I can move uh, Athura out of the way, out of the center. I can do a lot of stuff. But this is really only just uh, Flavor Splash. Because I can just control them and make them attack their own uh, deck runner. So, it has its uses. For impacts, we are running two Hellgate Walters. Uh, a very steep cost at uh, three gauge. Uh, I can call two death monsters with different sizes from my drop zone. 
uh, to separate areas by paying their call cost, and I get another attack phase. So the majority of the cards are size one, save for uh, final gate guider. So I mean, I mean, I understand why I'm running this. I got talked into running this so I could potentially set up. Um, just play Gate Guider, get, um, or Hellgate Walter, get a monster out that I'll need for the next turn, such as the one that controls defensively, or I can get, uh, uh, Final Gate Guider out again and swing twice again. However, in that case, I'd have to have five gauge, but getting gauge in this deck is not that hard. So, I'm running two of him. Uh, finally, for monsters, we are all, or impacts, we are running Gallows Bloodsucker. Uh, he's a 527. Uh, he's a size 2, which that's very important. Uh, pay 2 gauge and destroy a monster on my field. He's got Shadow Dive, and whenever he deals damage, I gain life equal to the card's crit. So, since he's a size 2, guess this Gallows can still be on the board, making him a 737, which is very decent. And I can Shadow Dive and hit the opponent for 3 and gain 3 life. So we're moving into our spells. Uh, we're of course running 4 Black Dragon Shields. Uh, it reduces damage to 0 and I gain a life. We are running 4 copies of Enemy Wall. Uh, I had to have a talk with a couple of the guys. And I had to have a talk with some of you guys in the community about enemy wall in this deck and they convinced me it was well worth it so enemy wall is i can only be play, only play this uh during an attack on the opponent's turn counter speed the opponent mills to if they hit a monster i gain a gauge and negate the attack so i have a i just kind of gamble hope they mill uh, if they mill in my favor then i negate the attack and then they then I gain a gauge. If not, then I've just made the opponent mill two cards that they could need for gauge or they could need for some sort of other purpose. Uh, either way, I profit. And we'll see why I always profit even if the attack does go through in a little bit. Uh, next up, we are running Great River Hades Archelion. Uh, Ar Ar Again, I apologize. So, this is a set spell. Its cast cost is Pay Gauge. All death monsters on your field cannot be destroyed by the effects of your opponent, nor return to hand. So, this says they can't be Hanako. They can't have any come into play field destruction. Can't be targeted by uh, destruction spells. Can't be hit by anything with the exception of combat destruction. That's really important. So we're naturally running three of this. Uh, we are also running Gate of Darkness Dragon. Uh, it's a set spell. This one's kind of wordy, so i got to read this one. Uh, at the start of your opponent's main phase, I can pay a gauge. If I do, I can call up to two size one or less monsters from my drop zone to my left or right by paying their call costs. You can only use this ability once per turn. When this card is put from my field to the drop zone, deal three damage to the opponent, or excuse me, deal one damage to the opponent. I can only set one gate of dark, uh, gate of darkness dragon once per turn. So at the start of every turn, I can pay a gauge and I can field out a board, either setting up for the next turn or setting up uh, that one defensive bone labor uh, monster. Uh, and I continuously don't need to worry about resources because my drop zone is also now one of my resources for calling monsters. Next up, we're running to Death Favor. Uh, death Favor is you may only uh, cast this card when a death monster in my field is destroyed. Uh, destroy a monster in your opponent's field, then if you have uh, four or more different death uh, cards in the drop zone, Deal damage to the opponent. So this basically is just uh, they hit, they destroy me, I destroy you. Uh, I can very easily deal you a point of damage for free. I'm running this at two of. I may actually put this up to a three of, depending. I just really enjoy this, and this did come in handy during the eight man tournament. 
And then we are finally running Soul Steel. Uh, I can put, I can gauge two. Then if the opponent has ten or more cards and drops in, I can gauge a third card, so potentially gauge three. Uh, I do need gauge in this deck, so I'm running two of this because gauge is okay so long as I don't heavily abuse um, the defensive uh, bone labor woman. But uh, any extra gauge is always welcome in case I need to really lay into them. Uh, currently for sideboard, I think I only have eight cards in the deck right now, but still they're needed. Uh, so two Abyss Symphony, if I do need to uh, dig in my deck a little deeper, this just lets me you know. Pay a gauge, if I make six or less, I can draw two. Uh, 200 Demon, uh, bad Sorcery, Bad Trap. Uh, you may only cast, uh, cast this when your opponent casts an impact. I can gain four life. Um, so the timing on this, from my understanding, is, is I can respond to them paying the casting cost because it's considered a cast. If you're not put into play, you guys are more than welcome to. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, but this helps me kind of avoid being taken lethal damage. Uh, two invitation uh, to Death Grounds, a uh, very pivotal card in almost all Darkness Dragon Worlds uh, decks. Now, uh, they says the opponent cannot. Your opponent cannot call monsters in the drop zone, or I can choose a monster item, pay two gauge, and rest that card. And then two Judgment Day, cast cost, pay a gauge. For this turn, all death monster gets plus one critical. I can only cast Judgment Day once per turn. So that is my Bone Labor Death deck. Had a lot of fun running it. I uh, was really surprised on how well it did. I uh, probably need to put more play time into this and just see how far this one takes me. So, guys, thanks again for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this helps anybody out that's looking to build uh, bone death decks. And we'll see you guys next time.